visitations at noon, service at two. I sit in my chair and don't know what to do. Go to the casket, that's not her. I got pictures of the way we were. 58's too young, life isn't fair. She's gone and gone forever. She wasn't a few days ago. God answers every prayer. Sometimes the answer's no. I guess we're at that age. We're at that age, I guess. I guess we're at that age. We're at that age, I guess. It's always somebody who was on your mind last week. Thinking you ought to start a game of phone tag and voicemail hide and seek. And sometimes you know it's coming Somebody's gone too far You think you're ready when they finally go You never ever are Hell man, you're happy for them When the miseries are over And they leave that ragged Body behind to rest under the clover. And then there's the ones that hit you hard and knock you on the floor. And you try to wrap your head around how they'll never walk through that front door anymore. Visitations at noon service at two I sit in my chair and don't know what to do I go to the casket that's not her I got pictures of the way we were 58's too young life isn't fair I guess we're at that age we're at that age, I guess I guess we're at that age We're at that age, I guess I guess we're at that age We're at that age, I guess I guess we're at that age We're at that age, I guess Good morning. It's the Monday morning cup of coffee. I'm your host, Tommy Womack. Do you have your cup? I have my cup. It's got me on it. The Monday morning cup of coffee mug. I don't have any of these to sell right now. They sold real well when I got them, but it's hard to mail them and uh, they don't travel too well. They tend to crash together and break uh, when you're driving. Um, Hopefully the whole car doesn't crash together and break, but uh, you know I've been there. I know that situation. Anyway, let's have a sip together, shall we? <sighs> Government Cheese had a great gig this weekend at the Eats and Beats Fest uh, during Duncan Hines days. Uh, Saturday, we played at Circus Square Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And it was a marvelous time and uh, a bittersweet time. Lost two friends this week. Stephanie Bogle in Bowling Green um, was, uh, she's been to more government cheese shows than I have. She's you know, an incredible person. She had this disease in her legs where she had to stick her arms in these crutches sort of and walk like this. I don't, I don't know what you call those 
braces, whatever. Uh, it, but it never got her down. She never complained about a thing ever. She and Beth were thick as thieves back in the day. And uh, she passed away. And then Mary, Mary Sack, or Sack, however you knew her. Uh, she managed me for six years, and uh, I don't know how she put up with me so long. Um, and Mary and I had just phone tagged a couple of weeks ago, and she sounded fine on the voicemail. We never actually hooked up. Uh, and I happened to text her the day uh, she died, to, and I said, how you feeling? And I didn't know at the time that she had already passed away earlier that day. And uh, it's, um, it's weird. It's weird. I don't process death the way most people do, I guess. I don't cry. My meds won't let me cry. Uh, it's one thing I never do anymore. And considering I used to do it all the time, uh, it doesn't bother me that I, so much that I don't ever cry at all, but I don't get that purgative feeling. I don't let all my emotions out. Uh, it takes me a long time to realize that somebody's dead and that they're not going to walk in the front door again. Uh, Mary was an incredible manager, an incredible person. Uh, she had the energy of 25 pit bulls, you know, and she, uh, we were together six years and um, she made my career what it is today, such as it is, but you know, look at what she had to work with. Uh, I don't know anything about memorial service plans or anything like that, so you needn't get in touch with me to find out. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know if anybody knows yet what's gonna happen. I just can't believe she's gone. I cannot believe she's gone. The last time I saw her, she looked healthy as a horse. And uh, it was cancer, if you don't know. From my understanding, it was lung cancer that spread to her liver. And uh, I don't know, when you see somebody and the last time you saw them, they were just healthy as can be. And then to find out they're gone, um, it just makes no sense to me. It doesn't compute at all. Uh, and she affected a lot of people, and there are a lot of people grief-stricken right now. So, uh, to Stephanie and Sack both love you, miss you, and uh, you'll be in our hearts. I got a house concert Sunday night, this coming Saturday night, this coming Saturday night here in Nashville at Mike White's house. If you want more information, get in touch with me. Tommy Womack loves you at Gmail. And uh, if you want to share your memories of Mary or Stephanie, you can hit the same email and let me know them. And uh, sorry for the grainy quality of the of the camera here. It's uh, my uh, professional style can camera. I just didn't even hook it up. I'm not in the mood for hooking up anything. I'm not in the mood to do shit. But uh, I'm gonna go to WXNA in a little while. Tommy Womack's Happiness Hour, 9 to 10 a.m. Central on WXNAFM.org. Check in. I might say something about Sack or about Stephanie. I might not. I might just play happy music and uh, be done with it. And uh, having coffee with Steve Poltz later on this morning, because uh, he heard about it. I heard about Sack and called me and... Um, I don't know. Life, limited time offer, people. God bless y'all. Don't let the bastards get you down. As long as you're living, live and remember those who gave all.